Today at one, we are live in Ukraine as Russia offers to stop its attacks temporarily to allow Ukrainian civil civilians to escape. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at one, live from Lviv in western Ukraine on day 12 of the war here. Ukraine has rejected Moscow's idea that Ukrainian civilians fleeing Russian attacks should use humanitarian corridors to seek refuge in Russia or in its ally Belarus. The government in Kyiv said the proposal was completely immoral and that people should be allowed to escape to territory held by the Ukrainian military. Two attempts to evacuate civilians over the weekend ended in failure, with Russia and Ukraine accusing each other of violating a humanitarian ceasefire. Ukraine authorities say that rocket attacks have continued on residential areas in several cities. A third round of talks is expected to be held between Ukraine and Russian negotiators. While well, our correspondent James Waterhouse has just sent this report from Kyiv. Well, the latest British military assessment of the fighting says that Russian forces are deliberately targeting Ukraine's communication systems to prevent people from getting access to reliable information. American military sources have said that the Russians are still meeting strong resistance and that they haven't secured full control of Ukrainian airspace. Our diplomatic correspondent Caroline Hawley has this update on the advance of Russian forces. The price of oil has risen to its highest level in almost 14 years as the US and Europe discuss banning imports of Russian oil. There are also warnings about food prices. The head of one of the world's largest fertilizer companies has told the BBC the war is threatening global food supplies. Our business correspondent Theo Leggett has more. Meanwhile, the list of companies pulling out of Russia continues to grow. Two of the world's biggest accountancy and business consultancy firms, PwC and KPMG, have cut their Russian branches from their global network. Well, we'll have more from here in Lviv later in the programme, but for now, it's back to you in the studio. Victoria, thank you. Well, here in Lviv, in snowy Lviv, in the west of the country, things look superficially calm. It hasn't been subject to the Russian assault that other areas have been, but still people's lives have been turned upside down by what's been... Well, among the million and a half people who fled Ukraine since the Russian invasion are a family who've been separated. Rita Miles and her four children left the north of Ukraine for Romania, where they were reunited with her partner Andy, who had travelled there from England. Seema Katecha went to meet them. Louise, thank you very much. Well, here in Ukraine, this is a country whose agony shows no sign of abating. There is talk of humanitarian corridors being opened up, as you heard, but great scepticism right at the top of the government that they will, in fact, be safe. That is it from me and the BBC One O'Clock News team. Now on BBC One, it's time for the news where you are. Bye-bye.